Otters are members of the weasel family, and they are aquatic, semi-aquatic, or marine mammals. They are curious, playful, and energetic, so people love to see them. Both sea otters and river otters have long and slim bodies, and their legs are short. They look very similar to each other, so this makes people confuse one of them for the other. Then, how can we distinguish them? One of the significant differences between sea otters and river otters is their size. Female sea otters can weigh between 50 and 60 pounds, 23 to 27 kilograms, and males are 90 to 100 pounds, 41 to 45 kilograms. River otters are much smaller than sea otters. Female river otters weigh between 10 and 20 pounds, 4.5 to 9 kilograms, and males can reach up to 30 pounds, 14 kilograms. Sea otters are approximately three or four times larger than river otters. Both sea otters and river otters are furry. They need their coats to keep them warm by forming an insulation layer. Sea otters' fur is denser than river otters. Sea otters have extremely dense fur with up to 1 million hairs per square inch of their body. River otters' fur is short and rough and it has two layers. One layer is to keep them warm and the other layer is a waterproof method. The fur is very important for otters so they spend significant time grooming it. Sea otters back flippers or legs are much larger than their front flippers but river otters' four limbs are about the same size. It's hard to see sea otters' ears, but river otters' ears are clearly visible. Sea otters' tails are short, thick, muscular, and a little bit flattened. The tails are shorter than one-third of their body length. River otters have rounded and tapered tails, and they are longer than one-half of their body. Both sea otters and river otters love to swim, and they spend a lot of time in water. But their swimming patterns and behaviors are not the same. You can only find sea otters in salt water, as you may guess from their name. They mostly spend time in water and rarely go on shore. Sea otters' movements on land are awkward and clumsy. River otters are mostly found in fresh water, but they are found in salt water too. They live in a burrow close to the water and spend time both in water and on land. River otters are agile on land. When swimming, sea otters use their two webbed back feet and the tail to propel themselves. They usually dive as deep as 250 feet, 76 meters, to look for food in their marine environments. River otters, on the other hand, use all four webbed feet they can dive around to 65 feet deep, 20 meters, for food. Sea otters float on their backs in the water. They can even eat and sleep like this, so they don't need to go ashore to take a break. When sleeping, they gather into a group and hold paws with one another to keep from drifting away. River otters, however, swim with their bellies down. They submerge the majority of their body below the water. Sea otters usually give birth to one pup and care for their babies until they can live alone. This will take about eight months to one year. River otters, on average, have two to three pups. These pups can live independently after six months to a year. Sea otter moms typically hold their pups on their stomachs while floating. Sea otters are known to wrap their babies in kelp while they hunt so that the pups can stay safe and warm. Since river otters live in dens, they keep their young safe there. Sea otters live in coastal waters and stay within about 0.6 miles from the coast, which is one kilometer. They prefer the areas with rocky coastlines, kelp forests, and barrier reefs so that they can protect themselves from severe ocean winds. They are mainly found in the areas of the Pacific Ocean including Alaska, Central California, and Russia. 
River otters live in freshwater rivers, lakes, and wetlands. However, they are also spotted in the coastlines. They live in dens with many tunnel openings, and one of these allows them to access the body of water. Depending on their species, river otters live in Europe, Asia, North and South America, and parts of North Africa. Sea otters and river otters are carnivorous mammals, and their diet is relevant to where they live. Sea otters are marine animals, so they hunt marine invertebrates. These include sea urchins, clams, mussels, sea snails, fat inner keeper worms, abalones, crabs, and so on. It is well known that sea otters use rocks to break clamshells. River otters eat fish, reptiles, amphibians, birds, insects, small mammals, and even fruits. They eat most of the prey that they can find in water and on land. Sea otters are primarily diurnal, so they are active during the day. Although adults and independent young adults forage alone, they usually rest together in groups. These are called rafts, and each raft consists of up to 100 otters. Males and females are separated in these rafts. Since they rest and eat in the water, they may wrap themselves in kelp as well. Although river otters are not necessarily nocturnal, they are active during the night. However, they are also active during the day. They are more solitary and territorial than sea otters. Their basic social group is the family, which includes an adult female and her offspring. Now you know how to tell the differences between sea otters and river otters. That's all I have for today. Thank you!